Hey, John. Yeah? What's up, Greg? Uh, you work for Bloomhouse, right? I do, yeah. I heard the Bloomhouse Tilt has a new movie coming out called The Belko Experiment. Blumhouse Tilt did acquire a movie called The Belko Experiment. This is, was it, was it, was it, was it the guy who uh, wrote and directed Guardians of the Galaxy involved in this? Oh yeah, I, I do believe that James Gunn wrote this film, and Greg McLean, the director of Wolf Creek and various other films, uh, is the director of this movie. You know what's funny, I think I recall a shit ton of people asking me to watch this, like, last week, and I just didn't get around to it. Wow, that's messed up, why didn't you get around to it? Because huge humongo trailers were dropping all last week. That's true. We don't make huge humongo movies. We mostly make micro-budget horror movies. But this one's rated R for strong bloody violence throughout? Yes. I've I've been told that uh, there's violence in this movie. That sounds awesome. I've, uh, I rarely see a movie titled that strong. for strong bloody violence throughout. Yeah. That sounds like an awesome time. Yeah. That's all I needed to hear. Let's watch this. Let's do it. Get all the other rating reasons. Sexual yeah. references? Mm. Like caucusy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, Belko! These are his experiments. Belco is a non-profit organization that facilitates American companies in South America. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, Ryan. All employees, lend me your full attention. Hey, it's Look Jesus. Her. Your chance of survival increases by following my orders. What? The task is simply this. Uh -huh. Kill three of your co-workers or we will kill six others. Hey, all the lines are dead. We need to evacuate the floor. Hey, Pete, come on, it's a joke, man. Hey, listen up, everybody. Whoever's doing this, they're having a little fun at our expense. Woo! Exploded from the inside. What? Can we start working here? They put tracers in the back of our heads. You must not remove the tag from your body. Follow our directives, or we will detonate the explosive. Begin. Oh boy. I ain't melted at all. Do you know what kind of metal this is? I don't really know. Oh, it's not good. We oh. need to discuss all our options. We do not have the right to take innocent human lives. What? My wife and kids need me. Stage two, commence. We don't need no more weapons. We need to work together to get the hell out of here. Don't fucking move. In two minutes, uh. we want 30 of you dead. If 30 of you are not dead, we will end 60 of your lives ourselves. Uh -huh. Five, four, three, two, one. At the end of the day, people are up for themselves. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. That's a uh, spicy meatball <laughs> <laughs> of head exploding goodness. Um, goodness gracious me, that, that's a crazy concept. <laughs> that's a nutty, nutty concept. Yeah, I've, I, this is legit the first time I've seen any footage from this movie. I love how everyone working there just thought it was like a regular office. The trailer doesn't allude to it feeling like it's going to be more than that, which I appreciate. Like coming over the intercom and telling people that, like, I like the reactions at first where everyone's like, this is just a joke. What the hell is, what's going on here? Someone's, and someone gets shot and the, what? Oh, dude, that just seems like a nightmare to have to go through. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, this is, this looks cool to me because this looks like an exploitation. Yeah. Movie. It's like, all being, I love it. I yeah, love it. <laughs> this looks sort of lean and, and mean and it, that's at least what I'm expecting out of it. It looks like a, it's going to be a contained, tight, fun thriller. James Gunn is fascinating to me because like he came out of trauma and he's made a lot of like weird indie movies and now he's 
kind of inherited some of the the sort of like you know geek throne lately i'm excited to see well, that's cool. something authored by him back in this arena where it's like hog wild you know? yeah it's like hog wild dark comedy because there's definitely humor in that trailer man. oh yeah and I, I love the, uh, yeah, I love, like, the pulpy flair to it. Because that's what I liked from James Gunn, like, before Guard Like, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought that was, yeah. like, one of the best Marvel movies. But, you know, that is a very PG-13 kind of, you know, fun flick. And not that that's anything bad. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think of, like, Slither when I think of James Gunn. I think of Super. James Gunn has a sort of, you know, uh, zany, irreverent style. Yeah. I, I think, especially to his to his writing. And I mean, you know, I, I know there's some folks out there for whom his writing is, is not their taste. Because it is a bit boyish. Of all of his movies that I've seen thus far, there's always something I enjoy. And they do have a certain heart, despite some of the, like mean there's like always like a mean streak in his movies what i like too is that the whole cast of characters they don't seem like cliche characters yeah they don't seem like they're like so drastically unique yet just from watching the trailer but with that being said they still feel like there's gonna be something rather uh rather different about all of them and michael rooker working again yeah. with the james the gun Mm -hmm. I'm sure James Gunn was involved in the game. And Tony Goldwyn looks like he's going to be the main star. But we're, who's the guy that I love from fucking John C. McGinley? John yeah. C. McGinley. I, I will go see anything he's in. <laughs> I've heard from one or two people that he's kind of an asshole in real life. What? But then I never really take anyone's opinion on that. It depends. Because like, I'm like, what if that guy was just having that. a stressful day? What if he was just having a bad day and you happen to catch him at a bad moment? I would be curious as to those guys. I, I don't think you can be just pure asshole and still have a working career <laughs> if you were just only an asshole. John C. McGinley, I loved him in Scrubs. I loved him in other comedies I've seen him in. <laughs> he just looks like he's having a one hell of a fun time. Yeah. He has no problem going into the crazy territory. But yeah, that's what I like about this one. This one looks like it's going to get escalatingly crazier. Yeah, I mean, and this I looks love like that. A... It, it doesn't look like it says violence throughout, but I have a feeling it's gonna kind of be like first 30, 40 minutes. Maybe there's like a tad bit of violence, someone gets shot or something, you know? And but, then the bodies will pile yeah, up. Yeah, but then like the last 40 minutes is gonna be a fucking just insane blood ride, you know? Uh, yeah, I think this will have a high body count by the end. I mean, I, I mean, that's what I'm expecting from this is like a lean, mean, high concept exploitation thriller. Yeah. Like, that's what I get the vibe from. And this so. looks like one of the better movies uh, of, you know, one of those horror movies where you have victims play a game with each other for and either I, torture or experiment purposes, you know? And that's what I'm really curious about that I have no sense for in this is what's gonna be the ultimate point. Are they gonna try and do some kind of clever... This is what it all means. Or are they thing. even going to reveal that to us? Or know? yeah, or is it going to be just an immediate sort of herring? Like there, there. I'm sure there has to be some reveal, but I'm I'm curious as to just how like crazy intricate they're going to try and get with it, or if yeah. they're just going to make it, you know, primal. And also, it's, it says on IMDb, it's only an hour and twenty eight minutes. That sounds perfect. Lean and mean. Man. I'm actually really looking forward <laughs> to this movie. Hell yeah. That looks like a blasty blast. All right, Rejects, what'd you think of the Belko experiment? Would you participate? How many people are you willing to kill? Comment below. If you're new to the channel, Rejects, subscribe today. Get accepted, John. His reasons to Jerry, Bloomhouse, and Facebook. The social media links are all in the description box. And uh, I want to say that you can catch uh, our appearance on Hit or Miss Movies. Hit or Miss Movies. With the lovely, talented beautiful women, Brienne and Stacy. <laughs> if you like looking at beautiful women and you kind of like looking at us, then you're going to love the videos we did with them. They're already up on the channel. And if you like listening to four equally different but interesting intellects speak to each other, it's not all about looks, man. Oh.